Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and I've got all of these scraps. If you like paper crafting the way I do, then I know sometimes you accumulate all these scraps and you're not sure what to do with them. So I'm going to show you how to make a really fun project. It's, it's very laid back, but it's just so easy to do. So let's get started. You may have seen me use some of these papers in other projects. And so what I do, um, I don't throw them away. I just keep them because I would love to use them for maybe something like a card. Um, I can use them for scraps for a card or maybe you're doing a mini album. Um, these, these are great for turning into something else. So I'm going to be taking these and putting them, cutting them down even smaller and putting them maybe on some other cardstock to decorate it. So I just pulled a bunch of stuff out. I'm going to be using my all of these pretty um, sequins. So I may use some of those. I've got some sentiments cut out from some of my uh, stamps. So you're going to like these. These are actually from uh, May May stamps, so I'll be using these. These will help. I just like to stamp stuff over and over so I have it all ready to go. Also have another bag with a couple of other little embellishments in there. Let's see what else I've got. Oh, I've got some washi tape that I got from the Dollar Tree. And so they're real artsy. It's a bunch of them. Look at all of these. So this may be a good way to use some of these to decorate also. And I'm going to be mixing up a lot of colors. I do have some more stickers here. I may end up using some of these. So these are going to be so random. Um, I always try to tell you not to think about it when you're crafting because it just makes it flow so much easier. And, and in the end, everything is going to come together. You just have to do it. I'm also going to be using a bunch. I have a bunch of markers and other pens here. Uh, I'm going to be using these uh, scalloped scissors and the pinking scissors also. I'll probably use some of my Copic markers. So I'm just going to be pulling in a whole bunch of stuff. So you're going to see lots of color in this too. And I think just adding so many random colors makes it fun. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these papers. This would be really good. Um, and I can use this to put on a backing of maybe something like this. So I'm going to cut that up, make it smaller. So we're going to move all of this out the way. And we're going to start with our first one. So I'm super excited about this because I've been wanting to do this for a while. Okay, so I'm going to just cut this down so it's a little bit a little bit straighter, just, just a little bit, because it's already small, so I don't want to cut it down any smaller. And you know what, I just thought this is a good time to use, I see that I have a scalloped edge on this one, or I used the peaking, it looks like I used the peaking scissors on this one, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it on here and cut this down, just like that just to have that edge there. And I'm going to just kind of line it up on here. On this pretty paper right here. And I'm going to cut around it because I want to give it a border on the cardstock. This is a decorative paper so it's very light and I want to give it something to really stand up on so that if I want to add it to a card in the future um, I could just do that. Put something on the back and add it on real quick. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and glue that on. Let's see, I'll use my adhesive here. And so you can do this all day long. And even if you don't use them yet, you can have a nice stash with uh, with a bunch of these already done and prepared and ready to go. Let's see. Okay, so I'm putting that on there. I'm just going to cut this down just a little bit. Just a little bit more. Of course, I'm creating 
more stuff <laughs> that'll go into a box. Let's give this a border. I think a border will be nice on here. I've got some pens here too. You know, I like to do the stitching. And this will just make it stand out a little bit more. And so you can put a you can make a card out of this. You can put a border on a card. Um or put another outline, put another decorative paper behind it and, and add it to a card. And I may end up doing a tutorial on that, how to turn these into cards. This will be, these will be good for, um, I know a lot of people do pocket letters. So this will be great for pocket letters also. So you're just adding that little border, that stitching around it helps. And now on the center of this, I've got all of these sentiments. So because I like to make cards and I like to send out cards um, all throughout the year, I think I'm going to use this thanks. I think this will be cute. So I'm just going to cut that out. Cut it down just a little bit. So maybe I'll just put it like right, just like that, simple. But I think this needs something else on it too. So just to make it stand out. I'm just fumbling through some of my stuff here. Let's see, I've got my, I'm just grabbing for the thing I can find fastest. Now you have your inspiration here for a thank you card. Ooh, and I like putting that on I'm going to leave that at, at an angle. See, I was going to put that straight. But we can really play around and really have fun with this. Let's see. Yep. I think I'll kind of 3D it a little bit here. using my 3D foam stickers. Put a backing on here. Oops. These stick really good. If you don't have these foam stickers in your stash, you really need to get them because they're very, um, they, they're really sticky. I mean, they once you put it on there, it's not coming off. Okay, so look at that. So now you already have the base for your card, or if you're doing something where you're doing some scrapbooking also, um, you just have something already made from one of the scraps that you would normally throw away. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna add something to that. I see it has a little bit of uh, a little bit of pink in there. There's some pink in there, so I'm just going to lightly make some little dots here. I'm hoping you can see that. Let me just zoom in just a little bit more. You can see. I'm just going in with some dots here. Just making it fun and having um, and having a good time with it. I could sit for a long time watching one of my favorite shows and make a ton of these. So now you're just turning your stash into a treasure here. Now let's see what we have on here. I'm going to use some of my you me fumbling around in here. I apologize. I'm just trying to get some of my things out of this, this container. Let's 
We'll go over down there. Just gotta have this close by. Let's put some of these randomly. Okay, and so from something that was basically a scrap, now you've made something, made it into something, and this can be the basis for your card or inspire a card. You can put a maybe a pink backing on it. I like to do the A2 cards, which are like 5.5 uh, inches by 4.25 inches, uh, four and a quarter. And I, I really like to, um, this would be perfect for a card. So I may use that for a card in the future. If you'd like to see a tutorial on that, I can do that also. Okay, so let's find something else. I'm just going to pull something else out of here. Look at this with the birds on it. Look how cute that is. Look at that yellow. So let's see what we can make out of this. Okay, so I really want these birds in there. So I'm going to cut this down just a little bit here. I do want to put a sentiment on there too, so I'm going to probably put the sentiment somewhere up in there. But you see how random this is? And of course, from that came this, so I could use it for something else. See, I love that pink, yellow, and brown in there. Those colors are so random. <clears throat> Oh yeah, this is going to be perfect. You know what? I think I want this to be scalloped around the edges. So I'm going to use my... Maybe the top and the bottom. Yeah. And I'm just holding this there just to measure, have something to measure up to. Okay. Oh yeah, that's going to be cute because I get to use what I already have and make something beautiful out of it. And if I want, I can cut off the edges here just a little bit. Okay, look how cute that's going to look. Okay, so I'm going to just take this. And I mean, if you have ribbon, like the thin ribbon, if you have a ton of it and you're not sure what to do with it, this is a good project to add to it. I'm really loving that. Okay, so now I can add, let's see what we got on here. I can add something different. Mm -hmm. kind of like this one this came from one of the uh, stamps in they may set and I really like this um, sentiment on there so let's see if I can cut it really close to fit fit somewhere in here and this says some people like flowers give pleasure just by being. It's a really nice sentiment. I've used this on some other cards as well. But I want it to fit like right in here. I think I'm going to have it just like that. Let's go for it. And then let's see if I can find something. I need an outline for this, of course. When I have... Uh, my sentiment on white paper like that, I, it, to me, putting something around it makes it stand out more. And look what I did. 
We're going to keep going with that. Let's see. You know what? I think I'll do another one. I'm going to stamp it. I'm actually going to stamp it again. Let's see, I happen to have that set. I actually have that set right here. I'm going to stamp it because I really like this. So. This is actually the set that it came from. Uh, this one is called Garden Party. So that's the one that I'm going to use. And look at me, I'm getting ready to use the same paper. I happen to have my stamping block right here. And if you want to stamp it in another color, you can also. Oh, and I got it right the first time. At least the second time. Okay, just that easy. So now I'm going to put this on here. And I'm just figuring out whether I want to mount it, and I think I do. So now let me get my Copic here and give this a border. And just take my time. Let's go ahead and I feel like I need to mount it, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. It looks like I'm running low on some of these larger stickers, but that's okay. That means I've been creating. Okay, now let's see. I'll put it right around here. And so that was just a yellow strip of paper. And that's what I've got so far. And this you can put on a card once again. And I'm going to, of course, add some... I need to add a few of these sequins. Some brown ones here. I've got so much stuff on this desk right now. So that's why you hear me fumbling. I've learned to work in spaces that are a little a little bit chaotic, although I do like stuff to be organized, but I'm really enjoying it. It has me stepping outside of my comfort zone. So I like to have one project on the table and just kind of work from there. So, but this is, I'm having so much fun with this. Okay, so now the question is, do I want to put a border on that? And so if I ask the question, and that means I need to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to do a border that's a little bit different on this one. Make a squiggly line and a dot. And you can do whatever you want on these. There's no rule, so you don't have to think about it. If you feel like it needs a border, don't think about it too much. Just do it. And the outcome will be perfect. Okay, and so that's our second one done. And that's what it looks like. And then if you wanted to go in and draw little stuff, outline the birds, if you want to outline the flowers, you can. There's just so many things you can do. Okay, so that one is done. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do another one using this paper. I used this paper in a recent project, and so I'm going to use this on here. I like the way those flowers look. 
Oops, I'm just measuring this up. I think I need to have So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to scale up this one right along the sides here. Just so it doesn't look so rigid. So if you ever have those sides and you want to do something with them, those scallop scissors are really good. And I will list a link below um, so you can check it out. Those scissors really change things up. And I hope you can hear me. Um, I'm talking a little bit softly because my throat is just a little bit scratchy this morning. So I know I've asked this question before, but what do you like to, when you're crafting, do you have something like a ritual? Do you like to have like a candle burning or do you like to listen to music? Um, maybe you like to sip on a glass of wine. Or maybe you just like complete silence. Let me know in the comments below. Okay, let's see what we got here. You're the best. I like that. See, I did a whole bunch of those because I, I like to give people reminders that you're the best. You're awesome. You're amazing. Sometimes people um, are uplifted just by saying something nice, saying something kind. Sometimes you have to hear it until you believe it, too. And I think when you say you're the best, we can only be the best of ourselves, basically. You can only be your best you. Okay, so I need to put something on this. I've got the pink, I've got yellow. Let's see if I like that yellow in there. So that green too. Let's see what happens when I put this on. Oh, there's purple in there too. I got to go with purple because that's where I feel I need to do that with the purple. Okay, so you see how this can turn out to be something you do all day. Use what you already have and you don't even have to, um, you don't even have to have a lot of, just use your stash, the stuff you already have. A little bit of purple on there, but I feel like I need to do it even more. Let's see. And we're going to do something a little bit different on this one. I'm going to give this a border also. And I'm using my um, this Signo pen. And I love it because it allows you to just put whatever you want on here. On a darker color, this white really pops. And it goes on so smoothly and effortlessly. That's what I like about it. So I think this white stitching will contrast with the white background. And so let's do... And it only needs a moment to dry. It's a little bit wet when it goes on. I like that. Uh -oh. Let's see if I can find my pink marker here. Okay. Since I can't find my pink marker, let's see what I can use. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff on this table. Let's see what I want to do with this. 
I want to touch a pink in here. Just come in with the black here. And you just I'm just making this up as I go. There's no planned um nothing planned here really, just having fun. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and put this right on because I may want to mount this part can be mounted onto a card base too. Okay, I could put it like this. I think I'll just put it straight on just like that. And then I should actually have some I think these flowers would work. Got these flower stickers here. I think I can put, fit one right in there. Let's see. I tell you, Dollar Tree has some amazing stuff. These stickers, they're so cost effective. You can get a bunch of them. Let's see. I think I let my glue dry out, so I'm just trying to pump it up here. This is why I have that pen. And if you have like this, um, if you have the art glitter glue and you do not have this, you need to get one of these. And th these are actually found in um, May May store. And, but it just makes things so easy. And so you just stick the pen in when you're done and then you're good to go. Right over here. So cute. Let's put another one here. And see these are little papers that would have been kind of tossed out. These white strips were like part of uh, some white cardstock that I had left over and I always keep those because I could stamp on them. All right, and that's what I've got on that one. And so if I want to give it a black border, I can. I'm going to take my time here, though. I'm just using this permanent marker. Just doing that little bit gives it a nice little border. And now if I want, I can take... I can take these um, glitter drops and I could add a little bit of sparkle to this. And I'll list everything that I use for this below in the description box. And I like this one because it is the, um, this is the white blizzard stickles. And the nice thing about these stickles is that you can it doesn't take away from your colors. Like if you're doing a project like this, it just enhances it without covering it up. And you have to give it a little time to dry, but it's really pretty. Okay. And the nice thing about this is that when you come back to these, you can actually do more on it. You can put something else. You might want to add something like um, like if I wanted to add some of this uh, washi tape on here, I could. Okay, so let's put this one aside and do another one. So I feel like I'm on the roll right now. Let's see what we got here. Look how pretty that is. There's so many, so many of these. Ooh, I use this in an, another project. I think I'll use this. I like this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this one down. And already I've created another piece. I'm just going to throw it on that pile. And I could save it for a later time. 
putting on there. Let's see what it looks like with this blue. Mm, for some reason, I still like the white on here. Okay. I'll go ahead and cut that down. And I want this to have a little bit of a border on it, too. And I recently made a card using this paper. This is from the Bow Bunny uh, Faith Collection paper pack. Gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And so I love these hearts. And it actually has a message, an underlying message that says, love one another. So I really like the way this looks. And I think that message is a very good message right now. Love one another. Okay. I'm going to mount it on like that. But I'm going to scallop those edges. And I appreciate y'all joining me for this longer video. I don't mind spending time and sharing with you. And if something that I'm doing inspires you, then, um, then that's actually the goal of this video is to inspire. I ended up having to cut that a little bit more. And I appreciate many of you sending in so many of those wonderful comments telling me that you love my voice. I just feel like people learn better when you're not yelling at them. And that, you know, I like calm environments. It's so it's, you know, I'm just being me. But I really appreciate y'all saying how calm my voice is. I'm just being me. So I'm so glad that y'all appreciate the quiet and the calmness. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. Let's go ahead and put the backing on here. Okay, you can see how those scallop edges really make a difference. So cute. And th these can actually be like, they remind me of like a play setting. Maybe put something on it to kind of extend it and stick it on, stick it in something. No, it just reminds me. Or even a um, candy topper. Like if you're making, putting together treat bags and you want to put a topper on it, these will be perfect for that. So from one idea, you get so many others. Okay, so let's see what we want on here. This one is too big. That's too big. That's cute, but to me, I don't want to cover this up that much. I would cover that up too much. Oh, square, you're the best on there. Hmm. Kind of like that. Let's see. Let's see. I got some more stuff in here. Look at this. Hang in there. You inspire me. I believe in you. I'm so glad that um, Mene has these wonderful stamps of encouragement in her collection. And let's see if we're going to find one in here. Always be thinking of you, and I already scalloped this from another project. Huh? Oh, I love this. This too shall pass. That's going to be a good one. I could always use um, uh, something that encourages someone to keep going, even when they're having a tough time. And so I'm going to use this one. 
because someone needs to hear that. And if, sometimes just knowing that someone's your someone is in your thoughts, or you just telling them that you're in my thoughts, I'm thinking about you, even if you can't do anything about this situation, um, just sending them a word of kindness, just to say, might not be able to help you out, you know, but I want I'm praying for you and I'm thinking about you. I'm gonna put that right there. Yep. Not too much thinking about this. So cute. Okay. Get my purple here. Shoot, there's blue in there. I'm gonna use blue. I see some blue. And I'm going to outline this again. I think I'm also going to do some stitching in black on this just to match this. I love that. I don't have any space on here. I have some really tiny hearts. I think these came from Walmart. Really little hearts. Look at that. These are perfect. See how everything just comes together? When you don't have every step figured out, I find that it comes together every time, even if you don't have it figured out. And these match perfectly, so I'm going to put something on here. Maybe the real teeny tiny one. Might be a little bit too much glue, but the nice thing is that this stuff dries clear, so I'm going to pull out a yellow because that'll make the yellow stand out more. My handy dandy tool that all of you have been asking about. It's the We Are Memory Keepers quick stick uh, tool, and it, it just helps with placement and all kinds of stuff. So let me turn this around a little bit here. Before it dries and I'll put a link to this because so many of you ask me about it so if I ever use this in a project I always like to put the link below so you can find it it is so cute and these are sparkly too so I'm gonna put a little pink one on there too I think I can squeeze one in there let's see these match perfectly, actually. Let's see, pink. These I got from Walmart a while ago, a couple of years ago, so I've never used them. So now they really, they're really coming in handy now. Okay, that's a fun, that's a fun one. And I'm going to curve it off, and what I'm going to do is, I think I'll go ahead and mount this one. Who would have known that using your stash would be so much fun? Just uh, you gotta be careful because I put that on there, Just waiting for that to dry. I am going to have a lot of cleanup to do once this is over with. I've got a lot of stuff here and I do like to clean up after a project like right after just so it's one less thing to do when I'm ready for the next because as soon as I'm done recording this I'm on to the next project I'm gonna curve that make it fun and I like that with the sparkles on there and now if I want, I can take my gel pen and just go around the sides with it on this one. 
I'm not going to do it right now, but I could. That's another idea that I could do. So look how cute that is. And let's see. I think it may be to do a blue one. Something with a blue backing. Okay, I'm going to do one more with the blue backing on it. Let's see. Now I'm wanting to put this around here. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to squiggle it. I don't normally do the squiggly lines with this one, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Not with the white. I don't usually do the squiggly lines. But I think this would look cute. So you can enhance the artwork that's already there by using whatever um, pens you have. Okay, and I just added a fun little border on there. Okay, so that one I'm going to put aside. And let's do one more. And I'm going to use this the blue backing on this one because this has blue in it too. So many papers, so little time. And let's see if we can, actually I'm going to add some washi tape to this. Let's see how I'm going to add that on here. This one. I'm going to cut this down first, see what I'm working with. And yeah, let me know if you want me to show you how I would turn these into a card, like just like a next step. Like now what do I do? Make sure I'm not coming out of frame there. Okay, let's see what washi tape. That's some washi tape that looks just like this, so. Not that one, let's see. These are very detailed. For a dollar. And this comes, all of these came in one pack for a dollar. Okay, so let me see what I've got here. Okay, so. I'm thinking I want to put a border somehow on this. Nice thing is I can just go right around the back with this. Just wrap it around and it's stuck on there. Okay, I'm just adding a little bit of detail to that. Nothing fancy. Okay, so let's put another piece going across there. And this actually has every color that's in, in this um, card stock. Wrap that around there. Okay, and I'm ready to mount that on. Let's see if I want to do anything with this though. I think I'm just going to do a little bit around the edge. Just like that. Great way to use these thin, thin washi tapes. I'm going to cut this down. And if you have a cutter, you can use a cutter if you, if you feel much more comfortable um, getting a straight edge. I just kind of like to, to cut it. Let's see what we have here on this one. I got so much stuff. Look at this. That's another project I did. I just keep everything, even if I don't use it at that time. At some point, I will use it. Thinking of you, I'm just a little bit bigger. I apologize for fumbling so much through this stuff. Okay. I think I'll use this one because it's a little bit longer. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it around here. Put 
what we can do on this edge here. And I like the way that orange looks. So I think I'm going to do a border just in that orange. It's in this little tag here. I'm over here bending and reaching. And this fits perfectly right between that. And it needs something in there, let's see. Okay, first I'm gonna mount this. And to me, this needs something else in it. Now, if I wanted, I could just leave it plain like this, but I feel like I can add something else in there. So I'll do all these other stickers. So let's see. Just kind of surveying everything that I have out on here. I have these orange stickers on here. Let's see. see. I have these also. These are like green dots. So let me go ahead and check and see if I want to use those. I have one more thing. Okay, I found these blue gems. I knew I had some somewhere around here. I'm going to go ahead and put these on here. These are sticky already, so... I mean, really sticky, so you have to... I'm just going to pull them off. Just add a little bit of bling here. And of course, I'm going to have to put a border on here. Just to bring out the black in here. I'm going to put a border right around this part here. Just putting that little bit of stitching on there makes a big difference. So let's see. I think that blue would look nice with a white border on it, just to enhance that. So you just kind of having the contrasting uh, colors. No, it's not the one. Let's see. I gotta get my other gel pen. Much better. It's an older gel pen that I is running out, so. But I like this one so much, so I think this is what I'm going to stick with. And you see how you just contrasting that the black enhances the black in here, the white enhances the white um, little label there. So this is coming up just a little bit, so I'm going to slip some glue under there. And I'm so glad that you all enjoyed the other video that I um, did. It was a longer video. And um, it was a gift tag video. We just kind of randomly, I pulled out some stuff and just saw what I could come up with. And so many of you said that you wouldn't mind having some longer videos in addition to some of my shorter videos. And I love making the longer videos because it kind of lets me talk you through the whole creative process. And I'm also just honored that you would like to share that time with me watching my videos. I'm really, really happy about that. And look how cute that is. Just adding that little bit. And then if you want to go back and add more, since you have a bunch of these, you can. I'm going to show you what the other ones look like. 
Okay, so we got see everything together, the ones that we created today, and then I'll show you the other ones that I created also just kind of sitting here hanging out. Look how pretty these are. And these can be turned into cards. So if you want to see a video like that, um, let me know. I do not mind. But now you're taking, <clears throat> excuse me, you're taking your stash and now you're turning it into something else. And the outcome is just beautiful. Okay, so these are our creations today. So this is what I, these are some of the other stuff that I created. Look how pretty that is. And I just took two non-matching pieces of, um, of, from my stash of like uh, decorative paper. And I just piled them up on top of each other, popped a little label, and then I went around and did a border. And then I scalloped the edges. And so the colors do not have to match. Just make your own unique design. There's no rules with this. I consider this to be mindless crafting. This is more square. And so you just go with the shape of your stash. So if you don't have something that's a perfect square, you can just do something else. You can make it more um, rectangular. And so look how pretty that is. And then I just took that white piece of paper and I created my own little border right around the edge there. And then I dotted it with little dots um, from my gel pen. And then I used uh, some of my, um, I don't know if you can see it, but I used a little bit of those Nuvo drops just to give it something. And then I put sequins on it. And then, of course, I did the stitching around the edge. So I really love the stitching because it really enhances your creation. Here's another one I did. And with this one, I just used, um, this is washi tape, a thin strip of washi tape going across it. It just kind of matched with this um, decorative paper. And then, of course, I used um, my markers. And you can use pencil. If you want to just do some shading over this and completely change the color, you can. And so I scallop these, or I think I, that's painting, one of those. Anyway, it's just to make the borders kind of match on both. And that just gives you something else to mount on a card. Look how pretty that is. I can actually use one of these on my containers too. This would be nice to just kind of stick it right onto one of my containers and put some flowers in it. Hmm, see, another idea comes from something else. Oh, this is one of the ones that we already did today. Those sequins, really. The sequins I actually got from Dollar Tree as well. And they have a bunch of them in, around the same colors. And so look how pretty this is. Take that off of there. It's another one. I believe in you. And I just matched the colors. And then I took my Nouveau drops. And I made just little droplets on here. And I love the way these dry. They feel like little dots, or little pearls, actually. And to me, this reminds me of fall. I don't know. And then I took my pen, my gel pen. I just made little circles, these little squiggly, incomplete circles. And that just added some white to my design. So you can do. And then I took the, these are the Dollar Tree gems, the sticker gems, and I just put them on there and look how pretty that is. Let's see what else? Okay, we got one more here. And so look how this is. I did use another thing of washi tape around the edges. That paper looks familiar. Went around here with a border using that blue backing. And then I use that some people like flowers give pleasure just by being. And then look at these right here. You see those little, see if you can really see those flowers. Let's see, that might be too blurry. Those little flowers I created by using the Nouveau drops. And I just did little dots in a circle to create that. And then what I did was in the center, I just squeezed just another little dot right in the middle. 
and that actually made it look like it makes it look like a flower a little sparkly flower so just an idea that I was just thinking about and then I took the lighter drops and then I went right around the border of this so so, so many ideas I hope something in this inspired you um, if you're going to use those nouveau drops practice first see I was I just took a, a sheet of paper and practice kind of squeezing them out to see what effect I would get when I had the idea to create those flowers so it's possible you can use your new nouveau drops to create flowers and I will put a link because that actually those nouveau drops come in all different colors and they are in May May's store I didn't get a chance to use the purple which I love purple so I'm gonna be looking forward to using these and so I hope this inspired you. Thank you so much for joining me for another longer video. Um, I love the whole mindless crafting concept, and I hope you do too. So just have fun. And don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up this video, and I will see you real soon. Bye.